SoftCataractCoach.com. Soft PSC cataracts made easy. For these soft cataracts in younger patients, this is my technique. Now, this patient's pretty young, under age 50. And if you look here, there's a very opaque central posterior subcapsular cataract. You can see that right there in the center, a lot of opacity. It's really causing the patient a lot of difficulty with vision. Obviously, diminished best corrected acuity, but also a lot of glare disability. And we don't have a way of just fixing those opacities other than removing the entire lens. So here's our viscoelastic fill. Now this patient has almost no nuclear sclerosis. And so your traditional technique of divide and conquer or stop and chop or even phaco chop is not going to be ideal. So we're making a phaco incision here, temporally using a diamond keratome. There we go. Nice and easy. Advancing it. And then this is a 2.0 millimeter blade. So we'll slightly enlarge to about 2.2 to 2.4 millimeters. Now, we'll get a nice capsular X is done. And a young patient like this, we have to have a 50-year mindset. So you need to have this surgery so beautiful that it's going to last the patient 50 years, and it's going to look great. Now, a little harder time poking that lens capsule because, again, there's no nuclear sclerosis here, so it's kind of all mushy. This is a younger person. This patient's probably late 40s. Now, the video is shown at real, speed, real time, normal speed. And you're thinking, why, cataract coach, are you so slow in creating this capsular axis? Why are you going so slowly here? Well, the answer is, I want it to be perfect. And we're going to judge here at the end just how much of a good job I did, or maybe did not, but we'll find out. There it is, measured five millimeters, pow, on the dot. Now, here's the trick in the whole case. It's the hydro dissection. BSS on a cannula, 27 gauge cannula, nice and easy. Get that nucleus out of the bag. You don't want this lens in the bag. Look at that. Tilt it up. There's a little nuclear sclerosis. Maybe this patient's a little bit closer to age 50. Going here with the FACO probe, this is a high vacuum, high flow setting. So at least three, 400 millimeters of mercury, at least 30 to 40 cc's a minute of flow. And you can see this is just short work. You don't need to even sub-chop this. This thing can just be aspirated pretty easily. It just comes out fast. So nucleus removal, look at that, is easy. Remember, Cataract Coach is the best podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. Every week, a one-hour episode, everywhere where you find podcasts. And the sole purpose is to make you a more successful ophthalmologist. Check it out. Now, back to our case here. Cortex removal, this is going to be the key. So we're going to take our time here. Remove the cortex using the coaxial IA probe here, and just taking our time and cleaning it up. Now, look at the posterior capsule. A lot of stuff back there. We want to clean up as much as we can. And I think we can just use this IA probe, just a little bit of gentle vacuum here, and look at that. You can get almost all these opacities completely removed. So nice and easy, back and forth, get all the opacities out. Fantastic. So keep it going. Don't stop. Get all the stuff out here. And again, being gentle, you can always do a YAG laser capsulotomy, right? We learned that lesson. But I think if I get that center part pretty clear like that, that's looking pretty good. Let's get some viscoelastic in the eye before someone tells me that the eye's out of focus. There we go. Inject the viscoelastic, get a little cohesive agent. And we're going to polish up the capsule bag a little bit also. So going in now with the polisher, and we'll polish up the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim. Again, I want a beautiful outcome for this patient. I want to give the same high level of surgery to every patient that I'd want in my own eye. So again, polishing up that capsule, getting all those lens epithelial cells off. Here comes our lens. Let's get that eye well in the capsule bag. And nice and easy, slow, slow, slow delivery. There it goes. Nicely done. Get that thing opened up. And then it looks like a monofocal lens. It looks like a toric lens, too. So get that lined up at the appropriate axis. And look at that rexus. I told you, I took my time because I wanted a really beautiful rexus. And I think we really achieved it. That's a beautiful looking rexus. 360 overlap. Let's go behind the eye wall optic, remove viscoelastic. And then again, again the posterior capsule should look pretty clear now. Really shouldn't have too many of those opacities left. Again, if there are any, you can always yag this patient a couple months later. So we've taken out our viscoelastic, and that just looks beautiful. And now you know why I took my time, went slowly, and made a really beautiful rexus. That is a forcep rexus, but look at this. The circularity is pretty much exactly on point. I'd rather have a rexus like this in my eye than one made with a femtosecond laser. No question about it. 
And so now lining up that Torah glance with the appropriate position, and again, we can just nudge it and, uh, to have it lined up with those marks on the cornea. If you look carefully, there are marks on the cornea and the epithelium. Beautiful. I see up the incision here. Now, this patient on the younger side is going to get a YAG laser capsulotomy anyway, so I'm not too concerned with that. And if there's a little bit of stuff back there, we can always do a YAG laser capsulotomy, usually at least three months after the initial surgery. Now, there are ways of doing a power wash or further polishing of that posterior capsule, but just keep in mind, it's a young patient, and that posterior capsule is four microns at its thinnest, and we gotta be careful and cognizant of that. So a little more removal of some viscoelastic fragments there. Let's seal this up. And again, I love that Rexus. To me, that's a home run Rexus. Beautifully centered, beautifully overlapping the optic. Hey, and remember, learn from our podcast. Every Sunday, new episode. I promise you will love it.